given me, we are for miracles, signs, and wonders. The Lord is making us understand this day that I and the children that God has given me, they are for miracles, we are for miracles, signs, and wonders. He said that on this month, Zion, from this month, Zion, that I and the children that God has given me, we are for miracles, signs, and wonders. Meaning that you and your children that God has blessed you with, you and your family, you will see the end of the year. You will see the end of the year till the very end of your time. There is a time that God has marked out for you to live on this planet Earth. But the wicked ones, they are always out looking for whom to destroy. But Jesus tells you in John 10 verse 10 that, yes, the wicked came to steal, to destroy, to kill and destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That is why you must partner with Jesus. That is why you must partner with him. That is why every morning as you rise, you must tell him, thank you, Jesus. You must salute him. Salute him every morning and tell him, thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life, for the gift of health. Yes, for what you have done, for what you are doing, for what you are about to do. Tell him, thank you. He's a great God. And this morning, he's telling you, he's telling you this morning that he will cancel that which they said about you. He will cancel it. He will cancel it. Did they say you will not progress? Did, this, did they say that you will be blind, that you will not see your harvest? It is a lie. It is a lie from the pit of hell. Because the Lord is telling you this day, in his words in, in Isaiah 60, Isaiah 60, that by the reason of his light that he shall not upon you, that he will make the wealth of nations to be gathered into your coffers in Jesus' name. Amen. And he's telling you this day in his words, in Isaiah, Isaiah 54, Verse what? Verse 17. He's telling you this day that the, yes, yes, let's, let's, let, let's get it. Isaiah 54 verse 17, he says, No weapon that is formed against you shall succeed, no. And you shall confront every tongue that rises against you in judgment. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, child of God, is condemned today in Jesus' name. Child of God, open your mouth and say, I receive it more than enough. Open your mouth and say this morning, I receive it. As you are saying, child of God, heaven is confirming it for you because it is prophetic, it is spiritual, it is prophetic, it is spiritual, it is yet, it is what? Child of God, open your mouth and say, I receive it more than enough. As you are saying, child of God, heaven is confirming it for you. Praising the Lord, praising this morning, his word. Always praising the Lord. Always praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Always hallelujah. Your Lord is good. Your Lord is good. Your Lord is good. It's good to rest. Yes, on this last day in the month of July, on this last day in the month of July, we are praying and saying, cleanse me, Lord, and light up my life today. On this last day in the month of July, we are saying, oh, Lord, my God, cleanse me, Lord, and light up my life. You are seeing the light this morning. It's a candlelight. I will indulge you after now. Yes, if you can, get a candle if you are still in the house and light it up in your room. Yes, let the light burn throughout the day for you. If you have gone out of the house already, maybe in the night before your bedtime, you will light up the candle. Yes, candle signifies the presence of the Holy Spirit. It signifies the presence of the Holy Spirit. Because on the last day in the month of June, the Spirit of God said unto us in this community, he said, let light shine out of you. Let light shine out of you. And I know that throughout the month of July, the light of God has, has always been with us. The light of God has always guided us. And this very day, on this last day, in the month of July, we are praying with a candlelight, which is the Holy Spirit, inviting the Holy Spirit, our intercessor, our lover, to come into the life of everyone in this house. Let the fire of God rest upon you. As Lord told me a few days ago, he said, let the fire of God rest upon me. I pray for you this morning, child of God, from wherever you are, at anywhere you are, distance is not a barrier. Let this light of God shine upon you. Let the light of God, let his fire rest upon you. Let the fire of God rest upon you and banish every spirit of darkness against your life. Just as his word says in 2 Corinthians, just chapter 4, verse 6, he said, let light shine 